Okay guys, in today's video, this is uh, day 4, okay, Java programming, day 4, you saw day 1, day 2, day 3, now, this is day 4, we are going to work with point F, day 1, we saw point, we worked on with point, Point ln. Now, let's try to understand point f. But one thing you have to know: the rules when working with point f, the rules start with the percent character. Also, to break the string into separate lines, when working with point f, one you have to you, you have to know that you should use percent n specifier okay without further ado let let's start let jump straight it to work okay now i want you to click on your source folder okay this is our main folder is program now our source folder s r c okay let okay right click on it go to new and then click click on class and then now we have we should name our class let's name it understanding okay understanding point capital p f understanding point f and then click on public static void main click finish okay we don't need this now understanding point f if you if we want to say hello world to point hello world and then walk in with point f in java we have to use percent s exclamation mark percent and n let me show you if you want to point hello world you say system that out that point f parenthesis double quote we need the one okay we need double quote we we have to put hello space percent sign s exclamation point mark sorry exclamation mark percent n and then you need a comma you need a double a second double quote and then you put world and you put a semicolon at the end now you save the program and you run it this is the uh, our output guys hello world this is how you point in java now okay we don't need um we can we don't need this this line of code we can um we, we can comment it out okay now let's go into work yeah, if you want to use um we have uh, a salary we have salary. We have salary. We have um, name. Okay. Salary name. And we have um, ID. Well, let's put. Uh, we have ID. Let's put this. Let's cut this one. cut everything and then let's start over we have id and we have um, name we have salary okay now for salary remember you have to use double you say double sal let's say we have in case we have three salaries 
we have select um, double cell one equal let's pick a value of 17 let's say one two three can use four and then pick your 44 comma and you have you can put it this way let me show you Semi semicolon double sal two that salary two equal you can say to any 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 value guys um period by and said double or we can use everything in, in one line I will show you um sal three equal any value guys and period okay or you can put everything in one line let, let me show you. you can say double sal one you can um let me show you you can copy this copy this one paste it here now in in this case we we are not going to use a semicolon but instead we are going to, we, we should use comma and if you say sal2 you copy it okay you paste it here six it should be comma yeah and sal sal3 you copy this one paste it here okay this okay guys so we sell one yeah you can use it this way if you use it this way one thing you can comment those out that's why we now we got no errors okay guys you can do it this way or you do it this way okay now we have salaries now for name remember you have to use string for name string name one let's let's do the same thing equal double quote any name samuel camera name name two equal double quote uh, let's say Amy comma name three equal double quote uh, let's pick James okay. now sem yeah semicolon now let's say for ID for ID we have to use uh, energy and and ID one equal for ID for energy for ID we don't need a double quote just you add the value okay okay this is for ID and you put comma ID two comma ID three. Okay, now I put a semicolon at the end. Now we have three values. We have ID, we have name, we have ID one, but name one, salary one, ID two, name two, salary two, and so on. Now we want to point those values, and then using point F. That's why we put understanding point F. Okay, let's go, guys. Now we should say system that that out that point F okay parenthesis double quote now percent this is the formula six D space percent negative fifteen S space dollar sign negative 10 that 2 
f and then we, we need this line to we need the second line go uh, we need the yet yeah, our second line of code we wanted to go to this uh to skip if, uh, the second line this line of code and then the second line of code we will we will create later we want it to go on that it's the first one that's why we have we should use backslash n okay we, we should use backslash n now we put a comma space now we can we should add id one or comma name one comma sal one now we can put a semicolon at the end the same thing same thing we can repeat it dot you have to do we copy and copy this and we can paste it here the only thing we have to do we have to change change put id2 name name2 and salt salt2 this is two. do the same thing you paste it here because we have we have our id name salary we have three names Samuel Amy James that's why we have you should need we need three line of code this is ID 3 name 3 and saw 3 okay uh, let me give you a quick note guys let me put it on top um, on top of this uh, remember let me comment this out I want you to uh, to know that uh, negative uh, negative uh, number are used are used um, for left for left alignment and positive um, number are used for right for right alignment okay I want you to know that now now we're done we say understanding point F double salary string name and then int ID now you can save the program and then run it now that's why you got this space guys remember I, I said that earlier we use um that this is where we got this space backslash n that's why we got this space well we let's see if um okay okay we we have uh this is our output you got um id name okay we we have an error here let 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 figure out what's going on dollar sign okay something is missing okay after the dollar sign guys sorry after the last sign you, you need to put um the percent sign you need to yeah add the, the you need to add the percent sign now save the program save it and run it again there we go okay guys now this is Samuel ID name this day yeah this is uh, the salary ID name and so on okay now I want you to go to uh, your source folder again make a right click go to new click on class now we are going to work with math class math class name the program let name it name the program let name it um, using using math class one you can put just math class okay using math class and click on public static void man and then click finish okay don't worry about this guys it will disappear later later on now using math class okay 
what if we have y equal x times 20 and y y equal square put some formula for you guys okay on the first place you 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 have a double x you have a value for x x equal nine semicolon say double y you have a value for y how come you're gonna calculate you have um y if you have y y equal x times 20 and then you have the value for x how now you should we need to calculate y how are you gonna calculate y to calculate to find y you say double y equal okay math that power okay math that power parenthesis x now you use x comma that's how we got it here double a double b this is b should be 20 no space remember that no space you put no space y equal x times 20 now you got um if, if you got a value for x you say double x equal 9 and then double y equal math that power x comma 20 now let's point this out you, you have to say system that out that point at this time is is should be point ln okay parenthesis double quote now you have to say y is colon and plus y that remember this this for concatenation now you can save the program and run it y is this is the value of y this is the value of y you can keep um three digit after one or two okay now let's continue what if we have y equals square x y equals square x now if you want to find y we said y equal math that square Okay, that square, parenthesis, x, semicolon. Now we want, we want to, we want to point y. We'll say system that r, that point. Uh, now, remember this. At this time, we're working with square. We, we are not going to say point ln. System that out that point. Okay? Now, double quote. Y is colon space plus Y. Okay. Now, save the program and run it. Now, we got the value for y. y is 3.0. Okay, let's continue. What if we got a value for a? They said uh, double a, a equal in the value for uh, b equal 5. And you have value for C. C equal, let's say, 0. And semicolon. 
and we want to find the value for the value for c what is the value for c now in this case we are going to use um uh, pythagorean theorem i put in i hypotenuse let me put the formula you say c equal math capital m dot square parenthesis no no double quote now say math okay that power parenthesis a we got a no space two okay that's the first one and then we can say concatenation plus math that power parenthesis now b no space two semicolon at the end we are not done yet now this is the formula to find c hypotenuse now let's point it out system that out that point ln now we can use double quote Pythagorean okay since we are going to use a Pythagorean well, let me put it um, theorem theorem for C okay for C parenthesis I want you to know that and uh, this is um hypotenuse hypotenuse and then you have concatenation for C and semicolon at the end this is how you calculate guys save the program and run it again okay this is um, y is 2.0 okay y is uh, 3.0 and this is the value I put in to see and you got c point c point for the a lot of number at the end this is how you calculate it guys this is simple this is clear I think you this video help you I want you to share to subscribe for more video I think this will help and uh, this this video will help you out uh, remember we work we are uh, with point FN sorry point F understanding point F and give you some quick notes here and uh, next we use um, um, use it now um, math class okay I right, thank you guys thank you for your time thank you for taking time to watch the video remember to share to like to subscribe thank you see you in the next one